Well, here we are again today. And make a guess. Got more packages to open. Uh, these should be tubes, I would think. I've started ordering tubes for the DX100. And yes, it is a DX100, not a DX60. I had DX60 on the brain the other day, I don't know why. But this is a DX100 transmitter made by Heat Kit. And unfortunately, when I got it, it had no tubes in it. Now, the radio itself would be expensive if I didn't uh, pay you only $10 for it. Okay, well, that's one thing. But the tubes are expensive. Uh, to try to find tubes like those, I, in this case, I think I mean, these are the 1625 transmitting tubes. Let's see. Let's see, we got. Uh, and there's two of them. And I actually got these from all different places. I just got, got whatever guys were selling them and wherever. And these are actually in the original boxes. Yes, they are. 1625 transmitting tubes. In the original boxes. And if you look at it, this is like, this is new old stock. Look what year. 1954. So there's two of those. Now all together for this transmitter, this DX100, it has about 15 tubes in it. So uh, actually what I ended up doing was I bought ones that I needed. I actually found four of them I had in my own junk box. Uh, but these I didn't have. My brother said he had these 1625s too, I guess, but I figured, well, let's get them myself. Uh, let's see, another box. Let's see if I can open this one up. It's easy I did the other one. Uh, let's see what we got here. Taped. Taped good. Top, bottom. Uh, let's see. I'll open that. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see what these are. I don't know which one that was. Oh, come on. That's really wedged in there. Ah, forget it. I'll just rip it open. Do it the easy way. This, I think, is the rectifier I need, I think. Mm, yep, 5V4. It's a 5V4 rectifier for the power supply. So that came. And this is another light one. This is probably one of the miniature tubes. Yeah, so I've been busy the last couple days, mostly because I had to take Queenie to the vet. She's got a cold. Yes, cats do get colds, and uh, she was having trouble breathing. So, finally, yesterday, uh, after I went through with the doctor, I said, I know what she needs. I said, I know what she has. That doesn't surprise me, it's got to be an upper respiratory infection. And sure enough, that's what it was. So, okay, so these, there's two of these. It's a pair of 12 BY7s. And this does take two of them. So, I found one in my junk box. So, luckily, there's two. So, anyway, so total, that is a total of five tubes so far. Uh, like I said, I had, I had uh, four of my own, so that was a total of, well, I'm so short. 
So nine tubes out of 15. So yeah, I'm still waiting for more stuff to come, more tubes. But we have another problem. Of course, there's always problems working on old equipment. You see, this guy modified a few things. Uh, but well, the only thing I have to back, he's modified it so that he put two coax connectors on the back, where really only had one back there before. So there they are. So anyway, I'm going to leave those there. The camera just fell down. Uh, he put this relay in that was never in the original one. But apparently the modifications he did, he didn't really finish all of them. Uh, and they're really not going to be harmful anyway. So it's just a matter of cutting some wires out. But um, I have to put another wire in for the uh, transmitter itself. It's got to go from this fat switch over here back over to here. So yeah, it's not a biggie. It's not that hard. But the other problem we're working, trying to figure out now, is the knobs. These two knobs especially. This one here, that's repaired by the way. Uh, what's happening? They're, they're all breaking inside, cracking. Uh, the red knob, because it has a metal fair rule in the inside, whatever they call it, uh, it still works fine and it's solid. And the one, this one here, my brother repaired. Yeah, it's working now, but I just don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, because the other one, this one here, I made another same kind of ring for it myself. Put it in, and what happened? The inside of this thing broke. So, it won't work. There's no way. It, it, you know, this problem is just, just old plastic. Um, the old plastic doesn't last that long. So, anyhow, there's always some little things, but this guy did go ahead and replace almost every capacitor in this whole thing has been redone. And uh, he was uh, on the, I guess, getting ready to modify it. But, as my brother said, well, he came close, but he didn't finish some of the stuff. I said, well, how come you think he, uh, he stopped? Uh... Remember, these are from guys who passed away. I said, oh, you mean he passed away before he finished it? Apparently, that's probably what happened. He got ready to do the modifications on this and never finished it. So, anyway, there you are. But you just never know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's big. In fact, it's so big, Queen decided she liked it. Really, really well. She liked the cabinet so much, she decided she slept in it. So I put a towel down for her. So <laughs> I'm not using it for anything else right now, anyway. So she, there you are. It's a, it's also a kitty, uh, 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 house for her. So anyway, so, and yeah, there's, there's this sick kitty right there. She won't even eat food right now. But she had an antibiotic shot that lasts for 30 days. So anyhow, that's going to be it for here. I'm still going through this radio, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye.